they really yeah (laughs) (laughs) the amazing new westport library and itunes proudly presents oh brother not another podcast with me trace burrows and me megs burrows and this if we pull this off this is a really special uh we don't want to overuse the word but this really is a special episode uh we are going to be interviewing uh 007 himself daniel craig the actor the real actor this is not an impersonator this is not a faker this is not a friend of ours posing this is daniel craig you're gonna say well how did you pull that off well it's a long kind of connection but i at carnegie Techno- uh, carnegie institute institute of technology drama departments now carnegie mellon I uh, was friends with and dated ever so briefly uh, uh, Paula Kaufman, who later became Paula Wagner because she married scene designer Robin Wagner. And I was studying scene design, but I guess I wasn't good enough. So she married Robin Wagner. She's Paula Wagner, became Tom Cruise. She became the biggest female agent or probably the biggest agent in Hollywood and ended up being... uh, production partners with Tom Cruise and produced three of his Mission Impossible movies. Anyway, I kind of leaned on her, you know, digitally. I mean, that's, I kind of, that's uh, gross. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's gross. I kind con- so I contacted her, um, emailed her and asked a big favor. Um, and anyway, she put us in touch with him and, we're just waiting, actually, um, for him to log in. I mean, this could be a big bust, but um, uh, oh, oh, I okay. No, he's came up. Is he? I, I have to hit admit, right? He's his name's up on the in the queue there to be admitted. I, I see him, but I don't hear anything. I see him, Daniel. This is amazing. Hello, hello. No, still no audio. He's shaking. Now, Daniel, you have to, I know sometimes, you know, you think because they're big Hollywood stars, they know how to do the, there's a button, the audio, the microphone button, maybe it's muted. It's on mute. No, no. He's shaking his head. Well, why don't we, well, Trace, why don't you ask a quick, can you hear us? He's shaking his head, yes. Okay, he can hear us. Do well, why don't you, like, we'll ask a question, and, and if you write the answer on a piece of paper, and then that's a good idea. just repeat it here. Okay. Yeah, until your audio comes, until you get your audio back. So keep trying, but... He's, he's good with that. Yeah, we don't want you to go away. This is too good. So, um, Nick, do you have a question? Yeah. Start we want to yeah, tell well, how honored we are to have him on our show. Yeah, oh, well, extremely honored. I mean, what a, you know, uh, just look him up on uh, IMDb, um, International Movie Database. Database. Yeah, yeah, incredible uh, resume. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm wondering, uh, I think you've been quoted as saying that uh, that you were never going to do, that after Goldfinger, you were never going to do another Bond movie. Is that true? he's writing he's writing um he says he didn't do goldfinger he's shaking his head violently no yeah that was that wasn't you (laughs) okay the guy all right (laughs) the other eight guys (laughs) maybe it was dr no is that the one because you were (laughs) you said no to dr no after no you're talking you have to go in about 23 films oh really to get to Craig. I'm sorry. I'm not. I mean, I. Okay. Well, there's some. This is an interesting fact, though, and I think this is a, you'll vouch for me that um, he was the only Bond actor that wasn't born when the franchise started, and I think he was the only one that was born after Ian Fleming. Uh, uh, died. Uh, he's shaking his head. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that is true. Yeah. Um. So, no, Trace, do you remember so I'd what? like to know, I'd yeah. like to know, like, um, how did you get the part of the first, when you did the first movie, 007, how did, how did you get that? How, how did, did you have to audition? He's, 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 he's writing a note. Do you, it, says, it says, I always wanted to be an actor. I had the arrogance to believe I couldn't be anything else. Um, 
competition is so important even when you're an artist. And if you deny that there's competition, then you're a liar. That's what gives you your ambition. Wow. <laughs> what? He's, he's still writing. Oh. He's adding another, sh another note. When I first heard I got the role, I was buying dishwashing tablets in Whole Foods. I promptly dropped them and went and bought a bottle of vodka to celebrate. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. That's okay, that's a little trivia. Interesting. Um, so what I also read about you is that you didn't want to do the Bond part in the beginning, and they, they had to kind of coax you into it. I mean, why would you not want to do James Bond? I mean, it seems like a dream job for any uh, male actor. Um, he, he's writing again. Uh, yeah. He, he thought that he could never live up to what Sean Connery and Pierce Bronson did. So, you know, he didn't want to be compared to them. So he, he, he's saying, so that's why he didn't, he didn't, he didn't want to do it. But then later on, he realized the money was so good or something. I think he's actually big dollar signs on that piece of paper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you don't mind, what what kind of dollars are we talking about? Um, he, he, he says, uh, none of your business. Oh. But okay. in a, seven figures. Oh, seven figures. What is that? That's $100,000? That's, that's not for, No, that's, really? that's a million. That's like a million. More. Oh. Could be up to nine million, seven figures. Oh, oh right. 100000 Six figures. Oh, okay. So um, now it says here in, that your father, this is true, this is in your sheet. It, your father went to same school as John Lennon in Liverpool. Oh. So did you have a Liverpoolian accent? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can, can you... Um, John, did you know George? <laughs> yeah, did, yeah, was your father asked to be in the Beatles by any chance? Was he a... <laughs> did you no. have a hard day's night? Yeah, <laughs> now there, yeah that's a, that should have been a Bond, uh, name of a Bond that's movie. That's right, a hard, exactly. Really. Hard day's night. I'm like, gee. Jeez, you're really... Or was Ian Fleming? Good work, Mix. He was out to lunch <laughs> when he wrote that one. <laughs> He's not laughing, but um, so how about um, I, it says here also you uh, you refuse to dye your hair black. They wanted you to dye your hair black, and why? You know they're offering you millions of dollars. You wouldn't do that. I mean, yeah. how hard is that? He he's saying he's right. He just said, my skin is so pale that it'd be too stark with the black hair. Oh. Um, it, it didn't make me look, it looked like I was, as a die, he's saying die job. He's writing in capital letters. Did they offer to fix your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you, you and I'll just throw in a nose job as well. <laughs> you got that kind of like, you know, it's like a little potato right there. <laughs> uh, he's not very happy with that. <laughs> he's, he's not answering. He's looks like okay. We're just we're just joking around just here. American humor, you know. Oh. <laughs> just <laughs> who was your having a wee little laugh, right? <laughs> So, um, <laughs> what was, I'd like to know really what, who was his favorite money penny? Oh, and, yeah. You know, did you have any uh, off the set Romance. dalliances? Yeah, with money penny or anyone else? 
any uh you get into her knickers as they say in england i think <laughs> her, br- her britches you said you put your wee little wee no, i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyhow, yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> you pick your own clothing <laughs> when you go on. Yeah, the, the wardrobe. That's a good question. Yeah, the wardrobe. Do, yeah. do they make you shop for your own clothes, like the James Bond look, or do you have a person who dresses mm-hmm. you? And um, how does that work for you? Just go into like any old clothing haberdashery. That's a is that a hat store? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you go into like a haberdashery and buy a a. Bowler, a bonnet, uh, yeah, a bowler, bonnet. Yeah. yeah, and then you uh, buy some pants and a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and do they have and to- a shirt? <laughs> is, there, is there Bond underwear? <laughs> is it like really sexy? <laughs> Tell me more about it. <laughs> Especially the bottom part. Yeah, don't they have to measure? I mean, you're, you know, this is also a, a rumor, but I don't think you denied that. You know, Bond was well endowed and. Uh, you're a little more than a 007. Is that is that true? I mean, when they measure you, don't your pants have to kind of? He, he's agreeing with us. Yeah, he's okay. But what, what what what? If you had your choice, what what would you? What bond would you be? He's Me, scribbling. I would be number eleven. A, du- a double. Oh, you're asking him. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he, okay. He was, he's 009. Okay. That's, I, that's, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. No. no. Just sneeze on. I would take any of the lower numbers, you know, <laughs> oh, 003, if that was available <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Used. <laughs> uh, uh, you have any, what other questions do we have for? He's writing a long answer. I know, Mr. Craig. I know. Sure. Um, do you want to put a on mute and talk while he's writing that answer? It's quite long. I don't oh know. yeah, we didn't ask him a question, so maybe he's making a statement. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a mute. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, it wasn't. I mean, honestly, when he came on, I mean, where he's muted, right? I mean, yeah. he can't hear us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was announced as the Bond thing. I mean, that was such a big... I realize it's made money, but... it's just him, you know. Yeah, this blonde kind of... Kind of rough-looking guy. Yeah, and and kind of... He didn't didn't have the style. I don't know. He's just... It looks like they have a... You know, you come to your house to do some pipe fixing. (laughs) Yeah. Um... His eyes look really watery. They look like they're floating on the top of his yeah. in his eye sockets. I wonder if he drinks like Oh yeah. Like, you know, like some actors do. You know, maybe the stress of having to live up to that to you know, the bond and all the fans that come up to him, you know. Maybe he's always drunk. I know Dana um, Andrews was when he did movies. Who? <laughs> Dana Andrews. <laughs> Dana Andrews, uh, yeah. A few people out there probably know. There's a reference, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, here's he's holding up. Uh, everybody moans his handwriting, it's like scribbling of a crazy man. Oh, I'm, oh, is that on? Sorry, <laughs> makes it go on mute. Sorry, oh god, I, I was talking about Migs's handwriting, yeah. Um, so he's saying, Everybody, you can barely make this out. Everybody always moans, Where's Bond gone? Where's all the jokes? Well, give us time. I always had a master plan in the back of my head that with the third movie, if I ever got there, it would be time to take the gloves off and bring the gags back in. Gags? Gags. I mean, what do you think you're like? uh, Who's the guy who did 33 and a half? You know, um, or Mr. Bean? I mean, is he? Yeah, Mr. Bean. You're trying to compete with Mr. Bean? I don't know. Yeah, this is, that's not really what it's all about. Um, Or Benny Hill? Who died alone in his apartment? Yeah, you're gonna check. Oh, did he story. really? Yo. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't see the Bond film opening with that gun barrel. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
you know, women running around in fast motion, you know, and yeah, Benny Hill ch- your butt, you know, like- Bond chasing them with a, you know, yeah, feather duster. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. You're dusty. <laughs> uh, so what few people don't realize, uh, Mr. Craig, that at one point you were a mime. I mean, people can Google this if they want. Google image uh, Daniel Craig as mime, and you'll see a picture of Daniel Craig, You believe it or not, as a mime. That's it's true. Just, yeah. I did. When you told me, I really didn't believe it, and I Googled it. He's a complete white face. Maybe he could do – that's a great – Leading because we did interview a mime, and uh, I'm sure he didn't see, hear it. But uh, is there anything he'd like to uh, act out? Um, the, the, as, as a mime, yeah, yeah, you, you want to, yeah, strut your mime stuff for us. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's okay. He's put down the paper. He's doing something. He's putting Maybe his. You, you understand what he's doing? Well, he's putting. He's making his hands like a gun. He's putting his own ha- gun to his head. He wants to kill himself. <laughs> wants to kill himself okay. and his career is over is that like a comment on our show or what? yeah is that like you think your career's ended here he's, um now he's like doing this the hangman's news business yeah yeah okay. okay good job it's just i get it you the first one was like killing yourself and the second one is that you're ha- you're a man being hung i get it okay and now he's drinking something and then he's like Eyes closed and he slumped down. Oh, it must be poison. Poison. So he's yeah. poisoned himself. He's hung himself. Uh, he shot himself. Okay. And now he's on our podcast. So that's yeah. that, that's your death. <laughs> Bullet to his career. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, I have, I have a question for Mr. Mm. Craig. Um, that um, what do you think of Adam Sandler? I mean, I know oh, that hmm. you know he's not like a. You know, I know he's not in your genre of film, but he is the most watched person on Netflix. Mm. Um, have you ever? Well, who's your favorite comedian? Uh, he's, he's shaking his head. He, he doesn't like Adam Sandler. Uh, who, who would be your? So, who was your favorite comedian? You want to do gags in your next Bond film? You must have some comedian that you look up to that you want to emulate. He, he, he's scribbling something, Migs. He said, I don't know what he, if he's hearing us. He said, I, I once got into an altercation with a man after the man pinched my girlfriend's rear end. What, what is that? What does that got to do with anything? Does, okay. Maybe that's a joke. You may, oh, he's, he's, maybe he's to laugh at that. the maybe gags. He did, he laughed. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, funny. Jeez. <sighs> Um, so he he was married a couple of times. Um, oh, now he's married to actress Rachel Weiss or Weitz Weitz. They, yeah, they got divorced. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought so. I thought that's what I saw. Um, uh, you, you put him on mute again. Okay. Yeah, you, you know I saw him in that movie Knives Out. Yeah, he played a detect, detective or a, like oh, a fake actor. Southern it's accent, a horrible Southern accent. <laughs> yeah. he, he was trying to do the old cliche of like the Southern ju- yeah. guy with the suspenders, like you know the wise uh, d- detective who sees the clues behind every little thing, you know. And so he, he's doing the uh, such a hacked, you know, such a uh, mm. hack job. They should have let him just be British, you know. Yeah, you wonder if at that point. In the career that everyone's afraid to say no. I mean, he's earned the the movie companies billions of dollars, and it's like whatever he wants to do. And you know, he's trying to break out and do. But yeah, it was really uh, always coming back. You know what? We forgot to mention how much we loved your performance in Knives Out. Out, yes, it was awesome. <laughs> You're. How did that? How long did it take you to? That, did you have to go to a dialect coach? Yeah. Because yeah. it was like such, so spot on. You really nailed it, man. Yeah, that was quite a, what are they, you know, not a, you know, a change. It was typecasting, you know, when you. Yeah. you, you right, you broke, they went against type and they, he's saying. Um, went against type. He didn't go to a dialect coach. He wrote, listed a note. He just wrote. Put up. Oh. Well, whatever. You. It was incredible. Yeah, you're just a natural. I can't say enough. 
<laughs> we said, you have said enough. <laughs> um, he's a big fan of Radiohead. I don't, I don't. So, so I read another thing about you that, that about like when you go to a bar, there's always someone who thinks they're being real original. They, they say, oh. give that man a martini, you know, shake and not stirred, you know, like they're supposed to like think that's hilarious. And evidently that happens to you all the time. And, you know, some loser in a bar thinks he's going to like befriend you. He's going to end up like going home with you and you're going to like play checkers with him or something. And, you know, like fly kites the next day yeah. in, your, right. in your sandals. And, and, uh, and, you know, it's just like, you probably have to smile, you know, fake those smiles. Cause you can't, you know, you, you're probably not one of those mean celebrities that just says like F off. You, you're, you're, you're shaking his head feverishly right now. In the up and down direction, which means yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to read the quote, find the quote. He's in agreement. <laughs> Did he what? Did he, uh, he doesn't go home with these. I forgot what we were talking oh, about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was hoping you'd put me on the right track. He's being a good sport. He's just sort of letting us, maybe he's got nothing else to do. I don't know. We're back on. Um, no, I wanted to read a, there was an interesting quote about the martini thing here. Um, of course I'll never. Haven't we covered that extensively already? <laughs> yeah. You talk to people in the movie business who have been doing this for 40 years and they all say the difference is that back in the day you could go and have a drink in a bar, get drunk, fall over, have a good time, relax, whatever. And no one would know about it. But now everyone's got a camera and not the, not that all I want to do is get drunk in a bar but that's an example. So you can't live a normal life anymore because it'll become public knowledge that you've whatever gotten drunk in a bar, he's mentioned that three times, or skinny but, but, dipped on a beach. But, but that's good publicity, all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, even if it's negative, people just go, you know, I, I may, you know, uh, isn't it? I'm going to ask yeah. him. Is it, isn't that yeah. just good publicity? I mean, you, you saw someone saw you drunk or naked, you know, unless you have something to hide down there. What, what, why, why do you care what people see? It's just like more talk about you and your name and you're creating a, you know, a whole like mythology around yourself. Yeah, it's more people buy tickets the next time they go to a Bond film to see the, the drunken, like naked man, you know? Yeah, it's a press agent's dream. Yeah. He's just like, looks like he's scribbling something, but I'm not sure what it is. Are you, is that a doodle you're making there? What's that? I don't understand. It's like lines. It's a stick figure. Um, it's doing, he's drinking. It looks like it's something like wrong there. He's doing something. Okay. Forget uh, it. Like, I can't talk about it now. Oh, no, that's not for public. Uh, not for public consumption. But he's drawing. This the, is a family show, mister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that the Bond movies. Uh, actually scribbling the word. Heineken. Oh, this is interesting. This is product play. You know, he's doing even in a podcast. He's doing product like, placement. Yeah, he's doing a draw, drawing of a b bottle, and I see he's writing the Heineken label, Heineken, and he's pretending to drink the paper. Yeah, and it says, and here's something. This is a quote: Heineken gave us a ton of money for there to be a Heineken in a shot in in a bar. So how easy is that? Just to say, okay, there's Heineken. It's there. It's in the back of the shot. Without them, the movie couldn't get sold. So that all kind of got blown up. Bond's new drink is Heineken. He likes a lot of drinks. Heineken, champagne, it's all in there. I'll drink a beer in the shot. I'm happy to do it. But I'm not going to do a uh, pantomiming an actor looking refreshed. Oh, do the... Oh, he does oh, yeah, pantomime. Yeah. So do... Let's see do your... refreshed. I want to see you do refreshed. Yeah, do an actor looking refreshed. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sort of. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So he's also here. He's doing product placement on our podcast. Okay, Heineken. He obviously likes Heineken because they're not they're not paying for our podcast. But now it looks like he's he's miming some uh, like a ventriloquist dummy <laughs> on his lap. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know where he's going with that. I would stick to just acting, uh, Mr. <laughs> Craig. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's uh, you know. The world doesn't need to see another like bad mime. <laughs> um, 
Well, he's been in other movies. Well, we mentioned that he didn't. I hope he's he in didn't. a bunch of TV shows, a bunch of British. Yeah. Um, the black. Uh, uh, oh, we just we just talked about Knives Up, but he was on a bunch of uh, TV shows. He did the India. He did um, Raiders of the Lost Ark series. He played a part in there. Oh, really? Yeah. On like one of the. Oh yeah, he, yeah. They said he has an un. Um, what do you call it? Not un, uncredited part in in a star. In one of the uh, Star Trek, uh, he, he also played a part in the movie A uh, 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 Road to Perdition with Tom Hanks and Paul oh, really? Newman. Oh. Yeah, and uh, he played a mobster, uh, Connor Rooney. So, Mr. Craig, did you, did you get to meet Tom Hanks? W- what was he like working with Tom Hanks? Is he nice? Like everyone says he is. Is mm. he really a nice guy? <laughs> Would you, was he a nice guy? Did he like to hang out with you? Did you talk with him? Was he like really friendly? Really like low key? You know, mm. soft spoken. Was he like um, the kind of guy you just want to have like a beer with? <clears throat> I guess a Heineken in your case. What's he writing? Son of a bitch. Shut what? The, shut your pie hole. <laughs> it's just, oh, he's called, I think he's a, Hanks is a son of a bitch. Oh, wow. oh. jeez. That's, uh, well, that's, that's the first not, time I've heard that. Yeah, that's not the common perception. Um. He must have gotten into some sort of Hollywood squabble. Um, well, he's supposedly getting um, his next movie. Well, because of the pandemic, it it's it hasn't come out yet, or maybe it's not finished. But twenty five million for his next movie. Wow. <clears throat> what's the you know what is it? What what's the title of your next movie, Mister Craig? Hard Day's Night. <laughs> Hard Day's Night. The sequel. <laughs> Starring you and some Liverpool puddles. <laughs> Starring Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you, he acted with uh, Nicole Kidman in the movie oh. Invasion. She's some hot, tall drink of water, isn't she, Mr. Craig? That's a that's a product placement for water. We do our own <laughs> product placements. <laughs> it's our turn. Well, actually, we're just about out of time. Um, so we want to thank Daniel Craig. Do you have any last? Th- th- thank you, Mr. Craig. Thank you f- for being on our show. It was yeah, and thanks for not so. Gr- we were really looking forward to it. Both of us were. Yeah, and thanks for not, uh, you know, writing in a southern accent. Um, but no, it's a, it's a great pleasure, and you're a big star, and you've let us know it. So, bye. Okay. He's waving. I can see he's waving. <laughs> he has really short, stubby fingers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's gone. He just signed off. Um, we have a, like a minute to. T- uh, we want to chit chat about him, oh but my yeah. God. Gee, what a through that. what a bore! Gee, I mean, he stayed on. I was surprised he stayed on. He must be really lonely. We probably, He's probably should have preoccupied been. with where, how he's going to spend all that money he makes. Yeah, but how? I didn't know he got divorced from Rachel White. That's what I saw. Yeah, she's a terrible actress too. She was in the Mummy, wasn't she? In the Mummy and the first Mummy movie with. Um, I like. I like her. Yeah, no, I that she's very <laughs> pretty. I don't think she get. I, didn't seem to act her way out of a sarcophagus, okay. but uh, <laughs> she's pretty. Yeah, she doesn't do a lot of movies. Did she do the Diary of Anne Frank somehow here <laughs> in that role? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one that was updated to. Uh, they contemporized it, so you know everyone was wearing black turtlenecks, and it took and, place in a. Um, in a, in a black box theater in Soho. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll say uh, we'll, I'm going to stop the uh, sign off on the podcast. Thank you all for listening. <laughs>